Amelia Island 2020. Coming up, we got a really cool car. It's a 1956 DeSoto that actually just won the Kids' Choice Award. Check it out. This beautiful 1956 DeSoto Fireflight belongs to the American Muscle Car Museum's collection. The museum is privately owned by Mark Pylock and features a growing assortment of over 300 collectible cars. Although not open to the general public, the museum hosts many non-profit fundraisers and educational tours for children. They also frequent events like Amelia Island to showcase some of their fantastic collection. This footage is just a little sample of the museum's main showroom. And let me tell you, as I walk through the aisles of collectible cars, I've never felt more overwhelmed. Shelby's, Porsches, Yankos, every color first gen Ford GT available. You name it, they probably have it. Including an incredibly extensive collection of pace cars that line an entire wall of the 90,000 square foot display area. One of those pace cars being the 1956 DeSoto Firefly. I just wanted to say congratulations because I heard your car just won the Kids' Choice Award. Among the kids, we're a big hit. Yeah, you're a big hit. For sure, for sure. Today we're here with the Not So Handy Car Guy YouTube channel, and I'm Ed from the American Muscle Car Museum out of Melbourne, Florida. This is the fourth year in a row we've been invited to Amelia Island. And this year, Bill Warner and staff asked us to bring this 1956 DeSoto Pace car. There was approximately 400 of them built. There's approximately 35 of them left in existence. And as we come around, we have the 331 cubic inch, 255 horse motor in this car. Baby Hemi, if you will. Let me share a little bit of the knowledge I learned about the Pace car history. And what I mean by how they were sold to the public. There's actually three different versions of a Pace car. You had a track car, which would be the car that was actually leading the track and may have one or two backups, maybe even four backups, and the winning driver that pace car went to. You had a festival or heritage car, which in a sense that would have been one that was at the track or close to the track, and then you had the dealer replica cars where you could purchase at your dealer that looked just like the pace car. Hopefully that clears a few things up. Let me tell you a little bit about this 1956 DeSoto pace car. They produced approximately 400 of these cars, and as you can see, it's unique, striking, innovative for the year, and this was DeSoto's version of the lean forward design that Chrysler was trying to achieve. Unique to the pace car was the anodized gold wheel covers. We have obviously the badging on the side, which is actually dealer installed. The stencils were sent to the dealer, and they had the option of putting them on or not on. Along with that, we have the gold interior with the tweed inserts and this also has a black and gold special carpet. One of the options unique to this car is the record player factory option. This takes a 16 and two-thirds records. These records were unique to this car only. And these cars were produced, not saying the pace car, but from 55 to 60 was the DeSoto Fireflight. You can see this is a large car, a lot of sheet metal. This is what Detroit made at the time. Towards the back, you had a striking bumper. You had tail lights, you had the dual antennas on it. And of course, we don't want to show you this, but we're going to have to show you a little bit about this. This has a trunk you can put all your stuff in. Gotta love that. You know, we'll come around here, I'll show you some of the unique features about the interior. They're carried up our push. They're very wise. If you want to come right in here to the corner here, you see where the push button transmission is. Special Boano, a coach builder from. And one of the options that we do not have is actually they had an internal clock in the steering wheel that would self wind if you drove the car. This does not particularly have that. One of the things I really love, and even though this is old school technologies from the mid 50s, this thing rides so smooth, accelerates, brakes well. Just a comfortable, really unique, nice ride to this car. We were awarded the first place by the Haggerty Youth Judging Team. We felt very honored to be part of that. Love to see the passion going, love to see the kids involved. They ask great questions and love the smiles on their faces. As you can see on the field behind you, you have some world-class stunning cars. You get a chance to come to Amelia, please do so. Also, for the not-so-handy car guy, subscribe to his channel. Thanks again. I only see a what do you think, Sam? This is really beautiful. That was a, is that a 